what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i am coming to you live from my car it's super windy i just pulled up to Bree's house because today we're having a carne asada so it's like five in the afternoon right now not too bad for carne asada but oh my god i didn't know it was gonna be this freaking cold so i'm opening up the vlog here because once i go inside i know there's gonna be like so much music and you guys also i wanted to add something so i know sometimes you guys complain about um the music that i have on the vlog and it's like it'll be music playing over like music that's already playing in the background so the reason why i have to add music is because youtube will start like tripping off my video it'll get like copyright if i'm uh, playing the music in the background so since everyone's having a good time i don't want to have to be like the the person to tell everyone to turn the music down so what i do is just like i add music i do it on purpose i know some of you guys don't like it but it's either that or no vlog at all so thank you for your understanding all right so i'm about to go inside i'm gonna see what everyone's doing okay guys so uh, i'm uh, getting started on the macaroni salad because you guys already know that is what i'm in charge of and then i'm also gonna make chiles capones um, i made a video on them before but i'll show you guys what they look like in case you want to see and then my sister is working on the rice oh my god my sister was telling me cheese me right now so basically we went out we didn't go out out yesterday but we went to like a bar and um you know we were hanging out and my friend kept going to like this table because like she knows one of the guys that was sitting there and i guess he was like buying her shots the whole night and i like i don't know i guess there was like other girls at that table but like that guy wasn't there with anybody so i guess that my sister went to the bathroom and when she was in the bathroom she overheard girls like talking shit about me and my friend and i guess that they were saying that oh i think i'm the shit because i think that i'm famous which is crazy because i don't think i'm famous like and i don't think i'm the shit i feel like i'm pretty like myself so yeah i don't know and i guess they didn't know that my sister was in the restroom or i don't even think they know that my sister is like my sister so when my sister came out of the bathroom, she seen where the girl sat and like she went up to them and was like, are we talking shit about my, were you talking shit about Mo Money? And I guess the girls were like, no, but I guess they look kind of like they had got caught up or whatever. And she was, I guess my sister was like, well, uh, you guys are talking shit about Mo, like that's my sister. And I guess like the girls denied it or whatever. So yeah, we had an interesting night. But anyways, um, after that, the night went pretty smooth. So, I'm glad it didn't get bigger than what it was. After the drama, everything. That's why happened. you should never talk shit, people, because you never know who's listening. Okay, guys, my sister is working on the rice. Oh, my God, it already looks so good. Here we have some frijoles. Are they going to make frijoles puercos? I don't know what the girls. I just boiled the beef. So here we're working on the chile and I'm just waiting for my water to boil. Also, you guys, we bought a rosca. Um, so we're supposed to cut it today. It's late, but it's coming. So what we're going to do with the rosca is basically um, uh, whoever gets it is going to cook something. And obviously, like the boys don't know how to cook. So they could either have the option to cook for us or they have the option to take us out. I think Fernando... It was his turn one time, huh? Yeah. Because he, Fernando's got the the little boy before, and he took us all out to eat. And I know I got it one time, too. Oh, my God, I have something in my eye. I remember I got it one time, too, and I had to cook. I forgot what I cooked for you guys. I, I think, think it was you and I that got it. Yeah, I think I cooked, like, enchiladas or something. Yeah. Wait, you're supposed to make tamales, but we're not going to do that. I'm not making tamales. That's what you're supposed to do on the carnivale. I hate tamales. tamales. Well, we're tired of them, so... Oh, come here, baby. Shit, I forgot about What kind of sauce are you making? Just like a salsa with one. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm working on my chiles and my pasta is boiling. Britt, what are you going to start working on? I'm going to do the chile huevos. The chile huevos. Okay. So everyone has a job. Brie, are you, what are you? You know what? 
you don't have a job, it's okay. You just had a baby, so. Thanks, well, me, Matt, she, I was there to the guac guac because it's only what I do. And you she do the guac. Yeah, you do always do the guac. She did the guac, the rice, and the beans. So I was like, okay, I don't have to do shit. Cause... And that's how you make the more cajete salsa. Well, it's only the things. Me, Matt was just gonna blend it in the blender. But like in chunks. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Getting uh -huh. the more cajete is way too Work hard. smarter, not Harder, guys. So I'm just supervising that. Yeah, you're supervising the, the carne asada. Guys, we also have another set of chiles going on. So Brittany's making... Chile huevos. The chile huevos. And they're about to be so bomb, guys. So we got hella chiles. Should we make this huh? Yeah, I think you should do that. You okay, should take I one for the team, Brie. Oh, Randa, don't forget your meat Oh, yeah. You should unlock how you prep them. The, we okay, might, yeah. the new one. All right, guys, so the carne is here. We got cebollitas. They are so bomb. We always get our meat from su carniceria. That meat is so fucking fire, you guys. So the boys got some cuts right here. You guys, like, legit, though, this carne, this is not a sponsor post. This carne is, like, genuinely fucking fire. Like, the meat is tender and juicy and it has hella flavor. Like, recommend. We always get it at all our carne asadas. So I'm still here making the chiles. Brits are almost done. They're almost done. I'm just waiting for them to like curl it up more. And then Ruben just got here. Him and Fern went to go get the meat. And uh, the beer. And the beer. And then the carne asada without the brewskis. Yep. Was there beer at the uh, bar at the carniceria? No. no. So no but they have like all kinds of Mexican stuff. Ruben, like is it cold, the beer? Yeah. Okay, let me see. I have all my ingredients for my macaroni salad. Oh my gosh, so satisfying, guys. Once you mix it, it's so satisfying. All right, guys, I just finished the chiles capones. Look at how bomb they look. Oh, uh, the food is now dead. So here I have the chiles I made. Here are the chiles Brit made. My macaroni salad is dead. My sister's already hooking herself up. Here's the, the guacamole they made earlier. Here's the salsa we made earlier. The rice. And then we got the tortillas. And then here's my sister's rice. Oh my gosh, so bomb. And then we have frijolitos here. And you guys, this is Karen's famous chipotle pasta. It's so fucking fire. And here's the queso fresco, you guys. The carne asada is not complete without queso fresco. And then here's the meat, you guys. We have our cebollitas done. The carne asada. We got some ribs in here. Oh my god, this is about to be so fire. Can I tell you guys, my mom is the first one to eat. She got her plate hooked up right here. ¿Cómo se siente que ya no tienes que cocinar? Está toda madre. Ya cociné por muchos, muchos años. Ahora me toca a mí. Wow, I can't wait to be una viejita, so ya no tengo que cocinar. Pero no más que ya no va, ya no va a haber mujeres porque Jaden y Josiah no van a cocinar, creo. A ver, bite my chile, ma. Quiero que pruebes el chile. Para que me digas cómo sabe. Con que no esté muy bravo. No creo. Che, my tortilla. Ma, yeah. quiero que pruebes el chile. Ya lo probé. No, este. Este chile. Ah, okay. Can you play my tortilla, please, or get it out? Oh. You know what? I think we should have earned this. Bueno? You like it? Thanks, mom. Oh, I'm done. I'm going to touch you with her. Oh, shit. You guys made these? Yep. I made those chiles. Those chiles are fire. Thanks, guys. Okay, so my mom gave me a compliment today because she never gives me compliments. She said that my chiles are a 10-10. Because she never says that something's really good. She'll just be like, oh, it's so-so. So usually when she says it's so-so, that means she likes it. Because she's never like, I don't know. She can never just be like, oh my god, it's so good. That's just her way of saying it. So everyone's in line. Oh my god, Karen bought her pasta. I'm so excited. It's delicious. How's the food, guys? Have you guys tried my, chi my chiles? I haven't. I'm going to try it right now. Yeah, they're really good. The chiles are You tried them, Ruben? 
know, I'm starving too. All right, you guys, this is my plate. Legit, no one can do canosadas like us. We got everything in here. Oh my God, se me está haciendo agua la boca. And then I had to use another plate for my queso fresco, my chile, my Doritos, and my tortillas. Vicky, you're not gonna be able to eat. You didn't even try my chile. I tried it with mom. Nice mom, Vicky. Okay, I'll try it now. Your mom, because her chile's not even good. I mean, I've always liked those. Well, I'm gonna eat right now again, don't worry. I'm not done. All right, guys, so I'm about to do the famous fetish bites. It's more like a Mexican and how like it's like it's like a paisa version of a jalapeno. Like a Mexican and shit like that. The Mexican stuff. All right, guys, so I'm putting my Walk on my tortilla. You got it. Wait, continue. Now I'm putting the rice. Look, you know, Mama. Did you eat it? Yeah. Do you want to get it? I'm about to put hard on this food. I don't know. Yeah, it's all the milk. Oh, you always give me the milk. 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 Now I'm adding the carne. We can pass that to my face. Oh, it might be spicy. Mmm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Is it all tortillas? No, it's not good like that. Why? No, I'm adding queso fresco. You're Mexican, you got a tortilla. I know, you know how I was eating. Did you turn it? Did you turn it? Did you turn it? That's why they're so skinny. Hi guys, I'm gonna do my first bite. Are you sure you get the whole tortillas? Cause I could just warm them up. No, we're good, thank you. These are good tortillas. They're full, they're full. You guys aren't gonna eat that good. Or a beer, or a soda, or whatever, water. Don't try to fucking give them beer, cause you just- Remember we went to the illusion one? I don't think I've ever gone to a museum. Wait, it's kind of boring though. You're trying to pay attention. Ashley, do you know how to speak Vietnamese? They have the trees. Yeah. 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 Ye
And then I have some of my boy's lashes, my boy Levine. Oh my God, these lashes are so cute. And I had them put away in my closet for some reason. So I'm gonna definitely use these. He has the cutest lashes, you guys. Definitely check him out on Instagram. He's also popping on TikTok. And then, so I have like my, my little phone here, you guys, cause I get bored. What I do is I watch like documentaries on YouTube. <laughs> And then these are some shoe boxes I'm going to throw away that I don't really need anymore. And oh my god, you guys, look at my New Year's shoes. Like, was I freaking walking in ranchos or what? Like, why is my shoe so dirty? These are probably done. Anyways, so this is what it's looking like right now. I look crazy right now, you guys, but it's okay because it's just realistic. I'm chilling at home, so it's okay to look crazy. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna get back to cleaning and I'm gonna watch my little documentaries on my phone. I actually have like my favorite YouTubers, you guys. Um, all of them are like crime people, like people that cover like crime. Like one of the ones that I love to watch is called That Chapter. That's like one of my fave crime channels that I like to watch. He's super funny and he's very, he covers the stories very, very good. I believe I, I'm not sure if this is his name, The Coffee House. He's really good too. He covers a lot of good uh, crime stories. I know there's a bunch of them, a bunch of other ones that I watch too, but it's just my algorithm on my phone already has it. I don't really know their names, but those are like my top two that I like watching. So if you guys recommend any more, let me know so I can watch them. You guys, so I'm still cleaning my, my closet. I don't know what's going on right here. I don't know why everyone feels the need to have to come hang out in here. You go, you barely fit with your big ass. Excuse me, sir. You're taking up like half the closet, bro. I found one of my comfy chanclas. These are so comfy, you guys. But now I'm looking for the other chunk. I don't know where it's at. Hopefully I find it. Hopefully you guys find another hobby. Because, I mean, you guys don't fit in here, bro. Anyways, here I go back to my cleaning. The top doesn't look too bad. Oh my god, I found my baby blanket, you guys. I've been having this blanket forever. So let me show you guys my baby blanket. I, I think I might have showed you guys it before on Instagram. But... This is one of my ugh, ukes, like for real. This is one of my baby blankets, you guys. And I'm sad because I had two more baby blankets. I had like a yellow Mexican one. It was like the ones that are knitted. And then I had a Pooh Bear one. When I moved from Fresno to Sacramento, I had to put everything in a storage in Fresno. And my mom just never got the stuff out of the storage we ended up leaving everything in there and when she finally went back to go get the stuff out a bunch of the stuff was moldy so i wish i still had it because honestly i would have just washed it and even if the stains would have stayed like at least i still would have had the momentum i sound like a hoarder but anyways this is the only surviving blanket and honestly you guys i think i would still use it up until like my I think I would still use it up until I was like a teenager or maybe like my early 20s because I would always watch like TV and I would cover myself with it even though like my feet would be dangling because I'm a little tall but I still love my baby blanket so look at how cute it is it's a little lion one 
I don't know why he insists. I don't know if you guys could see him. I don't know why he insists on being. You know what? He's so super attached to Brit. That's his owner. And they went to go have dinner. I think they want to go eat. So whenever she leaves, he kicks it in here with me. Because I like, I guess I'm just like the second option when Brit's not here. So I'll just let him hang out. Okay, I'm just sitting here. It's okay, you don't have to move, you know. This is your world, I just live in it. Sometimes I think he's human, you guys. Sometimes I think there's a human stuck in there and he's pretending to be a dog. Look at his eyes, look. Doesn't he have human eyes? Tell me the truth, Yuko. Are you a human? Okay guys, so are you guys ready to see progress? Well, actually I'm done. Ta-da! Okay, it's a little more organized now, the top. I didn't have nowhere to put my blanket. I know it kind of makes it look a little unorganized, but whatevs. But all my purses, I organized them. And then, look at the bottom, you guys. Okay, girl. I need to get rid of some clothes so I, I gotta get rid of clothes still that's why it still looks a little packed but I'm gonna get rid of some clothes to make more room for new clothes and usually the clothes that I get rid of you guys I get I gift it to like my cleaning ladies um, and they give it to their kids so that's usually what I do with my clothes but so much better i could walk through here now i was cleaning i found the shower curtain i had bought a long time ago for one of my ross hauls and my shower was sitting naked it only had like the clear one so i finally put it up it's only gonna last me like not even a week because my red hair is gonna stain it i already know but yeah guys i'm super proud of all the hard work i have a special guest say hello hello i made you cookies are you excited uh-huh but uh, you want to throw it away or you want me to save it for you? Like, is it done yet? It's done. You want me to? Uh, bah, it's you, done. You want me to throw this away? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi right, guys. So I made these cookies. I made a reel on it. I did a reel and a TikTok. So make sure you guys check out my TikTok and my Instagram if you guys want the recipe. And this is the first time Evie gets to try these. Are you so excited? Mm -hmm. Me, I don't have some. Yeah, bite it. Let's see. Tell me if it's good. Mm. Is it delicious? Uh huh. Oh, thank you, Pa. You're welcome. Currently making snickerdoodle cookies. These just got out of the oven, and oh my god, they're so bomb. I had. This is like my second time making these chocolate chip cookies, you guys. Before, I would just buy like the chocolate chip cookie dough and just make it like that. But honestly, you guys, I always say this, like it, there's nothing like something that's made from scratch. Like these are 20 times better than store-bought or even store-bought cookie dough. Like these are the bomb. So I'm a little nervous on the snickerdoodle cookies. Just just because I have never made them before, so this is my first time making them. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. You see all the kids walling out in the background. Turn your phone off. Grab one, Angel. What do you guys think? Are they bomb? Are they good? Mm -hmm. You want another one? Okay, but you gotta sit down and eat it. You want another one or you don't want another one? No. You don't want another one? Is this awesome? Uh, yeah, I put the movie on for you, but you want to go play, so I, I, I paused it. So do you want to sit down and watch it? Or do you want to go play with the boys? I'll buy a box. Okay, go play with the boys then. Oh, yeah, when he gets distracted, look at that.
right guys and this is the finished product of my snickerdoodles i haven't tried them yet i'm letting them cool down but i'm so excited all right guys so brit just got home and hey she's guys. making dinner what are you making brit i'm making chicken fettuccine alfredo oh i'm excited i'm so starving right now me too i'm hungry i just got back from doing my nails oh let's check out the nails hawaii i'm going to hawaii so. oh super cute those are definitely hawaii vibes right it's hawaii hawaii vibes for sure so you guys, oh yeah, Britt's taking a little family trip. Oh Brent. yeah, guys, so it's gonna be me, Saya, JJ, and Amiro. So Biki's gonna dog sit for me. Yes, I'm gonna dog sit, so. We, we'll do that. So I can't wait to hear the stories over there. I hope so. I wish I wish the whole family could have came, but. Yeah, it's cool. You guys need a little family like trip. You ran. Yeah, we'll see kids. how it goes. I, yeah. I know for sure I'm gonna miss you this. I mean, always says that I feel like he feels like I always gotta bring my family everywhere with me. I'm like, I do. Cause when you grow up like us, you want everybody around. Yeah, know? it's cause he, it's cause Ramiro grew up a little solitary, huh? Yeah, it, it was, it, he, it's just him and his brother and that's it. Like, yeah. I mean, he has a big family, but like just, you know, close, close. It's just like. Is he even close to his brother? Not really. Then, yeah. I don't think they're really close to each other, so. Yeah, that's probably probably makes sense. That's probably why. I know this was the kids' um like dream to go to Hawaii, so I bet remember they're so excited. Kid? Yeah, literally. Remember when we went to Lake Tahoe and we played? I don't know if you guys remember that on the vlog, but everybody always brings that vlog up. We went to South Lake Tahoe and I put like these Hawaiian shirts on them. So um, Brianna told them that we we're going to Hawaii. So the whole time they were so excited, they thought that we were going to Hawaii, and they said like they were so sad when they found out that we really didn't go. But that trip was like. A disaster. Oh my god, it was so How old were they when you guys how you guys pulled I that prank? I think they were like five. Yeah, I remember Jaden was little. So like six years later, we're finally officially going. So uh, they're it's they're really excited. And you guys, what's so funny about that day that they lied to the kids is so I remember that is that the day that it rained? Yeah, oh my god, there was like a big ass like rainstorm. Like you guys, there was okay, so it's only the twins would plan a trip like this and not check the fucking weather. So they had like Jeeps and like this, always. this is when Jeeps were like popping. So like they're like, oh let's go to Lake Tahoe, like you know, we'll take the Jeep. So then we're like, okay. We so stripped them. They made the boys take off like the fucking um like the the little roof of the jeep and stuff so it was just like all doors. out in the open. Oh yeah, the, it didn't even have doors, you guys. The door I think was just a little plastic thing, huh? Yeah, but I don't know what we were thinking at the time. I feel like now looking back, I was like, that's how you know we were like still young and dumb because like we drove with the kids and Josiah was like on the side where the door is at where there's no door. Yeah. He was just strapped with the seatbelt, like, why would I do that? Like, looking back, I'm like, oh my god, like... So and you guys, it was such a mess, like, because it was, like, a little cloudy when we left, but we're like, oh, it's like the sun would come out, and then it would, like, you know, so we just thought it was going to be, like, a little cloudy day with the sun in and out, but no. When we got to Lake Tahoe, shit took, like, a left turn, because... It started raining. It got super windy. Like, and it was pouring, you guys. It wasn't sprinkling. It was pouring. So then we had to, like, pack up and leave. And you guys, the drive from Lake Tahoe to Sacramento is probably, like, what? Is it, to, like... It was, like, an hour and a half. Like, almost, we yeah. drove in a Jeep with no roof and no doors in the pouring rain. Cold as fuck for, like, an hour and a half, you guys, with the kids. So... At least it'll be something that it they could terrible. remember. And the vlog is super freaking funny. The vlog that we had posted that day, it's, I went back to rewatch it and I was laughing the whole time. Like, now I see why people are so interested in our lives because we did jump straight. I know, and it's not even on purpose, you guys. It's like by accident. By accident. All right, guys, so Brit's pasta's done. Oh my God, look at how delicious that looks. It's done, guys. Okay guys, so here is my bowl. I'm about to hook it up. How I hook up my fettuccine is I put like a cup of tapatio in it. I'm just kidding, it's probably not a cup, but pretty darn close. And then I mix it. So I just low-key mix it a little bit, okay. Next step, I'm going to add 
crushed red peppers. And then I put a lot of this in. I'm gonna mix that again. Okay, then I'm going to add some Parmesan. Pour some of that in. And then I'm gonna mix it up. Gonna sprinkle a little more Parmesan. Mix that in. And then, cause I didn't add enough tapatio the first time, I'm gonna add more. And then I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. Look at how bomb that is, you guys. It's about to be so fire. So I'm gonna do a little fetish bite for you guys really quick. Oh my God, se me está haciendo agua la boca. All right. Oh my God, you guys. So fucking fire. A little garlic bread moment. Every time I eat pasta, I always serve myself a salad. So fucking fire, you guys. Okay, guys, so on another day with Mo Money, I came to work out, you guys. It's like my second day back with Lala. My legs are so fucking sore. And today's arm day, so I'm glad I'm gonna do my legs today because I swear my fucking legs are gonna fall off. Thank God we're doing arms today, guys, because my arms have been getting so bad. I feel like after I got my pull, a lot of my fat goes to my arms and my back now. So, like, it doesn't come back to your stomach, but it goes to other places, so beware, guys. What I like about my arms is that whenever I work out, like when I work out my arms, they tone up pretty fast. But as soon as I'm not consistent, it's like they deflate and they get saggy again. Perfect. Okay guys, Lala wants me to do a plank. I haven't done this. I haven't done a plank in like maybe four months, so. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, okay? Three. Wait, do I get on my knees? I mean on my elbows? I forgot. No, I'm gonna have you just do a high plank today, okay. yeah. Okay, Three, go. two, and go. Ugh. There we go. So shift your body forward a little bit so your arms are straight. Like this or like this? No, like you see how your arms are like more in front of you? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, when you do a plank, you wanna make sure that your elbows, shoulders, and wrists are all aligned. I just pulled up to Bree's house, you guys, because me and my sister have a Ross date. So we planned it last night. My mom is supposed to go with us, but me and my mom kind of got in an argument last night, which really wasn't supposed to be an argument. How the argument started was, I wanted to talk about my feelings and if you guys if you guys come from like a mexican family or like a hispanic latino whatever you identify as um i feel like it's kind of hard talking about your feelings because i feel like a lot of uh, a lot of parents especially like old school parents i feel like they don't know how to talk about 
feelings and they just automatically get like offended and they take it like personal but really you're not like you know i don't know so i try to talk about my feelings and she basically spazzed out on me i don't know if my mom's still gonna go i haven't seen her since last night after we got into it we're gonna see if she still wants to come so i'm stuck outside and i knocked on the door and my mom's coming to open it like just my leg we'll see how this goes hi mom all right guys we pulled up to ross but we gave my mom a little head start so She's already inside. All right guys, so I'm currently in the kitchen area. I wanted to come because I wanted to buy a bunch of like kitchen stuff. Like for my cooking videos, I feel like I need to upgrade on my cookware and stuff. I'm looking at the cutting boards right now. So Brianna has one just like this. I think it's the same one, but I don't like how it's scratched. But this one's like $27, but it's really good. it's really good material. So I just finished with my Ross. My, me and my mom are done. This is everything I got. And then my sister's inside the freaking store. Typical her. So I'm gonna make everything fit. I don't know why I didn't make room in my trunk. Tu que compraste? Unos pants. Según que está barato, fueron unos pants, una chamarra. Para como para hacer ejercicio, sí, para lo que hago ejercicio. Y unos pants. Y fueron 60 dólares. Sí. El mío fue 120. Cal y unos calcetines. Ábrele porque yo ya no aguanto estar parada. So we're gonna wait for my sister in the car. Oh my God, you guys. When I was little, my sister was addicted to shopping. She still is. And we would go to the stores, you guys, like, because I was always with my sister when I was little. We would go to the stores all the time. And it got to the point where me and the twins wouldn't get off anymore. And we would literally chill in the car for like two or three hours. I kid you guys not. While my sister went shopping. And we would I, we would just chill in the car. And like I would just listen to music. And I don't know why I would even decide to come. We're at Jamba Juice, you guys, requested by my mom, so I'm getting her a little pulito real quick. Toma. Toma. Tú estás adicta a seeds. Yeah. She has a little pile going on, and you guys, there's more in here. Ma, you guys, she's making fun of my juice. No, okay. We're gonna think positive. Bueno. Está bueno? What'd you get I from have a dog haul for you guys. Okay, let's see what you got. This is for my little Yorkie. Cute. She ripped her sweater. Uh, in my room, in the bathroom, I have their dog bowl and water. So this is for the water. Okay. It was only four bucks. What? What you know what? Feel? We need one of those too because the dogs are always wetting everything when they drink and water. And then I love these because they're so big. You can fit since I have two. Okay. So that's, I already have one. That's a fancy one. Yeah. Because everything in this house has to be fancy. Then I got this one for the Lolo. Ten bucks. What is it? A trimmer? Yep. For the dogs? Yep. Like, it looks like Benji. I've seen it on display. Let me see. Huh, All that does look like Benji. Yeah, Benji. And then I got these. These are for white dogs. So it's a purple shampoo. Oh, I have see those. They only Biofil? they have one more. I should have got it. I'm gonna go back I and get it. I need one for Benji. And then I got me this jacket for seven bucks. Seven bucks for this. Okay, that's cute. Whatever. And then of course, right now that it's winter, I just got me some sweats. Eight oh, I love buying sweats. sweats from there. Well, I need a Ross haul. Eight yeah, I need a Ross haul, Eight bucks. So then I bought me this one because I don't have no shirt. Eight bucks. This was the same as a sweat. You yeah. know what? I was going to buy one like that and I took it out. I regret it now. Well, tomorrow. And then I bought me these tights. Guess how much these? Well, you always know. No, I know. They didn't have a lot of clothes. No, I feel seven like. bucks for these like tights. 
See, you guys need to hang around with me and get all the good bargains. I never find well, anything it's like that. Favorite. And then I got me these sweats, and this brand, let me tell you, is really thick, just so you guys know that brand. Okay. Their other stuff is thick. It's These were these were 10 bucks. This shirt was, let's see, six bucks to go with my sweats. That's cute. And that is it. That's the outfit. That, this is, that is Did you guys like it? Yep. I love the hot. Because I love to be in sweats when it's winter. I'm lazy. So. Oh, did you bring my baby back anything? <gasps> I was gonna buy him this Mickey oh, outfit. The, the Mickey her, sweats. Yeah. And guess what? I forgot it. Oh, but you I'm gonna go back for the for the other shampoo to go in. Cause his mom got him a blanket last time. Oh, she did. Two blankets. But my fat cheeks wanted some things. Let's go. We're starving. <laughs> Jamba juice I drink. I just got my food, you guys. This is Bree's food. Bomb. Bomb? How's your food? Yeah. Let's see what did you get. Okay, she got a salad. She's eating skinny. Uh -huh. She's eating skinny today. What are you eating oh, for? A burger? California burger? Oh, that makes fire. So I'm finally home, you guys. I have a nail appointment tomorrow, so. I have my little setup right here to take off my nails. I'm so tired, but I'm going to soak off my nails anyways because I feel like it's hard for me to sit still. Like, as much as I love doing my nails, it's hard for me to stay still. So, when you got to soak off your nails at the shop, it takes longer. So, for the most part, I try to soak off, like, my own nails. They're still, like... They're still in good condition. Um, these are Drea's nails. But I feel like they're, they are a little grown out. These are probably like two and a half weeks old, maybe three. Um, so yeah, I'm getting a new set tomorrow. And I already took like one off. I gotta, I just clip these. So I clip them first. And oh my God, you guys, my nails always fly everywhere. I always have long nails, so I feel like it always feels so good to do this, like, oh, life-changing. Okay, I can't show you exactly what they look like, but they use them, like, at the shops, and it's, like, these, um, soaking bowls, so I put hot water in them already, and how these work, if you haven't already seen them, um, it's a bowl, and then it has, like, another bowl on top, so, basically, on the top... I'm going to put, there's five holes, so you just put acetone. And the hot water that's on the bottom is going to warm up the acetone. And it's going to make your acrylic come off faster. I have a little tool that I got off of Amazon. And this is just to like scrape it off as it melts off. And you guys, I even, I even have a drill. This is my drill. I bought this one off Amazon too, like a long time ago. And then I'm gonna take off like the coat, like you know the shine. So now that I got the first coat off, now I'm gonna soak. But first, I'm gonna put a documentary. Hey guys, so today is another day and I brought you guys with me to my nail appointment. So you guys, I'm doing my nails at a new spot today. So Drea just came back. I don't know if she's still on vacation or if she barely came back, but I felt bad. So I'm like, I'm gonna let her rest. I'm getting my nails done at a barber shop today. That's so dope. I have never heard of a barber shop having a nail person. So I'm here at the original barber shop. I'm here getting my nails done with Megan the Nailian. So I'm gonna put her info in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. So this is, I'm doing the cat eye today. You guys, this is the first time I ever do it. I'm so excited and look at how dope it looks so far. Let me get under the light. So this is what it looks like so far. I'm so excited. I was so overdue for my nails. Alright guys, so we haven't started filing yet, but look at the shape is already bomb. 
Do you guys see that um, painting? Right, well, it's not a painting, but you guys, that's me out of Oreo cookies. The owner, he's like an artist, and he gets down. Look at how dope that is. Out of Oreo cookies, you guys. I am a home now, you guys. Oh my god, let me show you guys. My nails are super cute. Look at how cute they are, you guys. I've never done the cat eye before. Um, this is called cat eye. I was so excited to see the results. Super bomb. 